Okay. Now we are actually going to go and upload the template, CSV template that we created to Moxie Engage. So we go to 21 online. After you log in, you click menu, productivity hub. Now we're here, scroll down to Moxie Engage. Click learn more. Then we select access Moxie Engage. Then we wait till this toolbar at the top downloads and we select engage again. Once we're in Moxie Engage, you want to select people and my people. All right, when, you, when you're in the My People, then you click the gear in the upper right-hand corner next to the envelope here, mail and find people. So this gear, you select that, then you select import Outlook CSV. Okay, and now we select the file. The file is on the desktop. Okay, and it was this one, contact import template Kelly Peterson and open. Now there's only three people on this, so it's going to upload quickly. And it's importing. And it finished. So normally you have 50 people, 25 people or more. It's going to take a couple minutes. So here are all the people. Best practice is create a group that you can put them in. So you can click edit groups. And I'm going to create, these came from Real Scout. I'm going to call it Real Scout Search. Okay, create, save. Then I'm selecting all. I'm going up here to add to. I'm adding it to a group. And the group is Real Scout Search. So as time goes on, I can send other marketing email drip campaigns to the same people if I want to, geared towards buyers. These are buyers. So now I have the people in Moxie, and now I want to set up a search. So I'm going to select one. I'll select Kelly Peterson. When you click on their name, their full contact information downloads. And what you want to do is select faves and saves. So save, faves and saves is where you save a search for your client so they can search. Create search. And the default is the office. Now, once they're there, they can search anywhere they want. But this is good. Southington works for me. If I wanted to change it, I would just click here 
and I might say, let's pull one out of a hat, Farmington. So Farmington, Connecticut. And I could save that area. So let's say I save that area and now I'm gonna select email settings. When I go into email settings, I have these options once a day, never hourly. So I'm gonna say once a day. Then if there are no listings on a day and they're nervous, did I miss it? You can also select this option, send no new listings when there are zero updates and then I'm selecting save and send. Okay, now it's saying, hey, do you want to add a neighborhood news here? So I'm gonna say, yes, let's subscribe Kelly to Neighborhood News, which is another great way to keep in touch. In the profile, we're going to add subscription and we can do the same thing here. And we can click go. And in this case, I'm just gonna put Southington. So we need to put a zip code here, 06489. And this is going to be a yearly I'm sorry, this is a monthly newsletter that will go out telling her about the market. And I would put Farmington here, but I don't remember the zip code. So I'm gonna select preview. And this is what it will look like. So it, I have a lot open, so it's not downloading, but uh, everything that's new to the market downloads, here's, here's what's trending. Here's the past 12 months. Uh, they had median sale price. I can also look at other types of sale sold prices and then any market updates or changes. Okay, so I like what it looks like and I'm gonna select done. Done means it is saved. So we just uploaded our database. We put them on a search and we saved them to a subscription. Now, I'm just gonna say, what if, what if you want to change the search? You can go back into Faves and Saves and you can edit your search any way you want. Okay, and then we are good. Thank you for watching.